this bad boy can fit so many gosh darn Modern Horizons cards in it. Let's see which ones. Ooh. <laughs> Everybody, it's time for another Good Luck High Five box opening sponsored by Card Kingdom. That's right. This this time they're letting us crack open the big the big kids the big table. One. Yeah, we're we're not sitting at the kids table for this box opening. I said it was the big kids table. <laughs> well, isn't that what it is at well, Thanksgiving? There's yes, the kids table and the, and big, the big kids, kids table. table. Right. Yeah. There's those no, are the two tables. I don't know what an adult is. No, me neither. Or where they sit, or what they eat. Good question. Anyways. Yeah, we've got a sweet box of Modern Horizons here. Uh, by the way, you can go to cardkeener.com slash GLHF to get your own box of Modern Horizons to play with your friends or anything you need really in the history of magic. Yeah. You, you want some sleeves, you want some deck boxes, you need some singles. They have super fast chi shipping, great customer service, and they're just all around awesome people and we get everything we need for magic from them. So yeah, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna play Half Box Sealed with Modern Horizons again, which is our normal game we play yeah. with these box openings for the last few. And we're each gonna split this box in half and yes. build a deck from the cards that we open. And you'll be able to watch us battle those decks, which are gonna be wild. They're gonna be extremely They're good. They're gonna be OP. Um, two weeks from now. Yes. Because next week, as someone, as someone in our Discord pointed out, we haven't done worst rares to open at your pre-release in a while. And they were like, why haven't we done that? And I was like, I think we literally forgot we that's forgot. a thing that we do. Yeah, I love those videos. Those are fun as to do. As do I. So next yeah. week, that'll be coming at you. And in two weeks time, you can watch us battle this. And you know what? The thing is, this set is majorly, um, majorly powerful. So yes. not only are we going to have more packs to build a sealed deck with than we normally do at a sealed tournament. Yeah. The cards in this set are awesome yes. and pretty valuable. Ooh, we're going to have to see what happens. Oh, is boy. everyone going to build snow? Maybe. By everyone, I mean both of us. I love the snow deck. That's my yeah. personal personal fave, wow. and I think it's probably if you can get it in draft, it's probably the strongest archetype. Yeah. Alright, well let's see. Let's crack into this beauty. Do you want to open your pool first or my pool I think first? I did last time, so I okay. think you should. I will go first. And I'm going to make a called shot here like I try and do. Oh, yeah. Go and I've it. been right a scary Wait, number of times. I'm going to make my called shot first. Okay, you go. I have. I don't think I've ever been right. Well, there's I'm always open, a time. I'm going to open a Sarah. <gasps> I was going to say Sarah. <gasps> Uh-oh. It's going to be a race to the first Sarah. Uh-oh. And I suppose I have a pretty good head start. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you do. What if we both open Sarah's? Would you go buy a lottery ticket right now? <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Yes. Look at oh, Urza. Hey, buddy. Wow, this is cool. I'm Urza. And then this little insert comes out. I love it. It makes it look yeah. like it's like a display, you know, <gasps> Fancy. for your house. There's Sarah, by the way. Are you yeah. going to display this Ooh, at your house? Ooh, cool. Yeah, okay, I do. Okay, here we go. Which side do you want? Uh, I'll take this side. All right, I'll take this Ooh, side. Look at this beautiful bear. She's watching over this side, I'm, is all I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Well, you're not wrong about that. Yeah. And the rare is the, is the first card in these in yeah. these packs. But I'm just going to also show off the foil token. Ooh, we got a sword here of sinew oh. and steel and a foily bird. Um, foily bird friend. So maybe I'll start from the back. Reckless Charge, Phantom Ninja, Imposter of the Sixth Pride, Azra Smoke Shaper, Umazawa's Charm, Iceberg Cancrix, Cross and Tusky, Return from Extinction, Lancer Sliver. <gasps> I wonder if one of us can have a wild <gasps> Sliver's Somebody deck. Somebody Sliver's deck. We could just really go for it with Slivers. Windcaller Avon, Baron Moor, the Cycling Land in Black, Ruination Rider, Red Green, Throws of Cast, very fun card. Oh! <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Look wow, at you. Wow, Yogmoth. Starting it off with a mythic. Pack one, pick one, and snow covered uh, plains is my snow covered land. Hey, this card is great. Yeah. I'm off the snow plan. I'm on the Yogmoth plan. Dang. Wow. People are already playing Yogmoth in modern as well, by the way. Um, so, like, that's a thing that is happening. That's a thing. I've heard about it in modern, uh, in mo mod modern, Mardu Pyromancer. Oh. Ooh, Seb McKinnon. Soul Herder. <gasps> Gorgeous. Isn't it so good? Yeah. So th these cards are all, by the way, that I'm flipping, basically really good. <laughs> yeah. They just, they're just all, you're not going to find like a bad card in Modern Horizons. Stream of Thought, someone on the mill plan. Okay. Ooh, you Ooh! have a King of the Pride. Look so at this. Kikis. Soul Herder was my, un it feels like a rare. This card should be yeah. rare. This is my uncommon in a pack with Soul Herder as the art card. <gasps> oh my gosh. Uh. 
barf. Wow. I can't win. Maria's on the tokens plan. Deep can't. Forest Hermit is oh, my rare. I feel I'm feeling mountain. I'm feeling rough. Yeah, those are two pretty good cards. I'm not going to yeah. lie. And I was just talking about to myself, or was it to you on the way over here? Oh, here's my squirrel token. You're going to need that Deep Forest Hermit. And Yagmoth. <laughs> <laughs> Yagmoth was here Dang. the whole time. Um, that The fact that this set is uh, very powerful, but the rares often aren't the most powerful. And that's kind of, I think, one of the reasons people really like this set for draft. Um, because the rares aren't just automatically busted. You know what I mean? There's a Defile that's really good. Good Fortune Unicorn is very strong. Ooh. Crypt Rats is a lovely board wipe, rats. should you need it. Rats. We're, We're the rats. rats. Okay, so this is my first non, non-insane non rare. Uh, pal, pash, Pashal- Pashalic Mons. There we go. Got there. And Snow Covered Island. Oh, so pretty. So P- Pashalic Mon says whenever it or another goblin you control dies, it deals one damage to any target. Three in red sack a goblin. Create a one one red goblin creature token. Create two. Oh yeah, so you create can sack two. a goblin to make two goblins. Sick. I think that's how goblins just work generally. Yeah. <laughs> you kill one and two arise in their place. We have a mirror token and this beautiful face of divinity. Ooh. Art look card. at that. I wish they would do those for every set. Yeah, that'd be really cool. I feel like you could build a changelings deck here. That would also be very strong. Yeah. Well, we're gonna see. Alpine guide, not bad. Goblin matron. Oh, that's a nice rare. Winds of Abandon. Oh, wow. So this can exile a creature, basically, or you can overload it for six to exile all of your opponent's creatures. Oh. No big deal. Wow. No big deal. What is it? Ooh, foil Recruit the Worthy here. Yeah, it's like a settle the wreckage, but they don't have to attack. Yeah, no. They just, they right. just go away. It's one Ouch. of the best cards you can have in, in Sealed, I would probably say. Like, I've got three of... I don't know how many, like but all three, Yogmoth, Deep Forest Hermit, Winds of Abandon are all cards that you would be like, yes, I have done it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Ooh, that's the Phyrexian one, uh, Mirrored and Besieged. Ooh. Pretty cool. Spooky. It is spooky. You could also make a ninja deck. There's so many fun things you could do. Factor Ooh, Fiction. Factor Fiction. Abominable Tree Folk. That's what I was looking for if I was going to make a snow <laughs> deck is this card because this card is so stupid. It ices things down. It's huge. Hall of Heliad Generosity, our first stinker. Oh, but the art is great. The art is beautiful. Love the art. One in a white tap. Put target enchantment card from your graveyard on top of your library. <laughs> We're not doing that as much as I love enchantments. It's just not something that's happening. Over here we have... Ren and Six Aww. as the art card. I didn't open it. Everybody calm down. Chiller Pillar. I love Chiller so Pillar. So cute. Answered Prayers is surprisingly good. Rhyme Tender is great. Um, Pyrophobia, very good red removal spell in this format. Pondering Mage, solid. Web Weaver Changeling, solid. Um, and it's a Changeling. Don't forget about that. Frostwalk Bastion. A rare Cloud Shredder Sliver. Okay. Oh, flying in haste. Flying in haste for your slivers and a snow covered swamp. Yeah. <laughs> when That's weird, but. I was asking um, Reed, I was like just randomly making conversation on air when I was doing Grand Prix DC, which is Modern Horizons Limited. And I said, hey, Reed, is there going to be a slivers deck in Modern that's viable? And I was expecting him to be like, you know, everyone's got their pet deck. And. Ooh, wait. Oh, I haven't seen this art card before, oh, I don't think. Oh, it's beautiful. Water logged grove. So it's the yeah. art from the lands. Oh, that's cool. Nice. I was expecting him to be like, oh, you know, everyone can, you can play whatever you want. It doesn't have to be competitive. Instead, what he said was yes. <laughs> 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 and the reason he said he th- was thinking about it was Cloud Shredder Sliver. And he said that that is an effect yep. that you have to think to yourself, is it going to be better than humans? You know, which is modern's basically best tribal deck. Yeah. And... Oh, Plague Engineer. That's pretty good. I've also seen people brewing, brewing with this in Modern. Death Touch. As it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures of the chosen type. Your opponent's control will get minus one, minus one. Um, he said that's an effect that, that humans just doesn't have. Everybody gets flying in haste. Nope. They can't do that. They can only do that with Mantis Rider. You know what I mean? Yeah. Chiller Pillar. Cute. <laughs> I love Chiller Look Pillar. A bug. It's just a little bug. It's just the cutest little bug you ever did see. Even the bad cards are not that bad. Oh, by the way, Savage Swipe. This card's Dang. amazing. Seems seems good. 
like Thornado is a a, bro, a dead card most of the time, but it just has cycling too, you know? Yeah. So like, okay. <laughs> force of Rage. Okay. So Force of Rage, you make two, three, one elementals with haste that last you a turn. So you can either block with them and trade up or you can get in for six points of damage without your opponent knowing what's coming. Yeah. And you can cast it by exiling a red card in your hand on their turn. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> Classic Force. Classic Force. Oh, a Eula Queen among oh, bears. Beautiful. Yes, also. Queen. So nice. She's so great. She's just the best bear. Mm -hmm. Treetop Ambush Rear, Segovian Angel, Marasa Behemoth, just a huge beater. Oh, uh, Arkham's Astrolabe is pretty good in a snow deck. Mm -hmm. um, mob, great removal spell. Squirrel Nest. Oh, Ooh. we doing it. We doing you, it. Maria. Maria's on Look squirrels. Deep Forest Herb Squirrel Nest. Maria is making squirrels happen. Smiting Helix. On Thin Ice is the rare, which uh, is a pretty good removal spell if you uh, have any snow permanence. Yeah. Which it was like Chained to the Rocks in Theros. That's right. I remember Chained to the Rocks. Yeah. Who do we have over here? Who is lurking in this pack? Agabo and this ingenious infiltrator. Ah. Oh, ninja friend. Great art. Excellent art. There we go. Frostwalla. I love Frostwalla. There's another mob in there. Cross and Tusker, great for fixing your mana. Slinging Lieutenant, excellent black creature. Splicer skill. Are <laughs> wow. We got a sword, y'all. Sword of Truth and Justice. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two, and has protection from white and from blue. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one, plus one counter on a creature you control, then proliferate equipped two. Nice. Look at that butte. Nice. Look at that butte. Okay. Gorge. Well, Squirrels and Swords is going to be the name Squirrels of this deck. Squirrels and Swords. I are, I'm like, okay, my deck's done. I have so many packs even to open yet. Yeah. Rhino, who's in here? Oh, Headless Spectre is the art <laughs> card. Ichabod Crane, I'm coming for you. Oh, there, there it is. Whoa, that's kind of weird. We're getting these art cards, and then we're opening the cards inside the art. Anyway. <laughs> um... That's called confirmation bias, everybody. Feaster <laughs> of Fools. It's a pretty, pretty big flyer. Ooh, Silent, Silent clearing. clearing is the rare. And we have a foil. Oh, we also have a foil rare. Spiteful Sliver. Beautiful. Wow. This is a sliver that um, when this creature's dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target creature or planeswalker. Oh, sorry. Target. Player or planeswalker. Yeah. Okay. Nice. That's nice. Maybe if I open the first sliver, I would do it. <laughs> because the first sliver is pretty good. Yeah. And we can have fun with Cascade. Oh, there it is. There's the yeah. sword. Pretty. It's like it was foretold. Goblin Champion, Fairy Seer. The thing is, all these cards are like, oh, whatever. No, they're all fine. Yeah. They're almost all good. Gilded Light is the only one I would like not play so far of these things that I'm putting out here. There's another sliver. Lonely Sandbar. Reap the Past is the rare. Return oh. X cards at random from your graveyard to your hand. I have not Exile. seen that one yet. Reap but the Past. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I think it's, um, it you know, I think good. it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. It seems likely that you're going to be green, squirrel. <laughs> That's a good point. Ooh, Dredge Sliver. Spooky. The spooky Black Sliver. Spell Snuff, I guess I wouldn't play that. Um... Nimble Mongoose also wouldn't play that. But look, oh, look, we're splitting hairs here. A lot of these are very good. Oh, there's my first <laughs> Man of War. I mean, Man of War. Man of War. Aria of Flame and a foil, Reign of Revel Rel Revelation. Aria of Flame is like a bizarre card that wants you to cast instants um, yeah. or sorceries and then does a lot of damage to your opponent. But it really, it does nothing, and you shouldn't play it. It's actually <laughs> one of the bad rares. Um, for sealed. Elephant. Oh, Urza. Oh my gosh. Is it a sign? <gasps> is it a sign, Megan? I don't know. Is Urza coming know. to us? Is it? Look at all Another these robots behind him. All he, all his robot friends. Ugh. Altar of Dementia. Nice. Wow. Soon yep. to be banned in modern. I think. Yeah. Altar of Dementia. Altar of Dementia. <laughs> I'll mill you out, Megan. Just you wait. <laughs> if I opened enough mill cards, that could be kind of fun. 
Uh, foil elephant, great. Ooh, beautiful. This is the art for Echo of Eons. Oh, that is that great. Is really pretty. I love these. They're so cool. I know. I wish they would do them all the time. They're just they're just really great. I saw somebody p collected all of them and framed them, and it just looks gorge. Rot Widow Pack, a great black green card. Boom. Hogak! <laughs> Hogak! Oh, Hogak, I found your friend, oh, Altar yep. of Dementia, right here. Yep. BFFs forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Maria, can, you can make a band. Should I just you make a. to be band modern deck. Should I just make a modern deck over here? I mean, why not? Oh, look at this lovely little Mastercore. Another squirrel token. Gonna be You're necessary. You're gonna need all those. Squirrel. By the way, it's not like we have secret information about Hogak. I just think the deck is super powerful and probably totally broken. Yeah. Trumpeting Herd is really good. Conifer Worm is also a win a game in a card card. Basically, you just win the game. It is trample and it gets plus X plus X equals the number of snow permanents you control for four wow. mana. Wow. And the number of times I saw no win conditions in a deck essentially that were like any good and then one Conifer Worm just won the game yep. was not Zero. It was probably like three. Whoa! Wow. Mox Tantalite. Nice. Holy cow. Suspend three. Add one mana of any color. Wow. We're at a high level of mythics over here. Yeah, you are. At least it feels like it. Ravenous Giant is our foil. I have how many mythics? One, two. Maybe I only have two. No. Three. One. Yeah, three. Two. Three. Yeah, three, because Deep Forest Hermits uh, is a rare. What, is that one? Oh, that's no, a rare. Oh, look, there's Sarah. <gasps> she uh, trying to tell us something? What do you think, Megan? She, she waiting for me. She's waiting for you? Yeah. Okay. Phantasmal form. I like Bogart and Dragon Heart. Unearth is better than you would think. Um, at least better than I thought. Settle Beyond Reality. <laughs> this is my first one. Very good white removal spell. Battle Screech is uh, almost unbeatable. <laughs> Scale, plus scale up right here. Here's your combo. <laughs> Mirrored and Besieged is the rare. Okay. Mirrored and Besieged, not, not terrible. Not the most exciting thing that's ever happened in my life. They're not playing this in a Infect. I've seen Infect decks oh, yeah. scale up in I them. bet they are. Those. Oh, I got a Mirrored Leech token. Oh. Not more Seb McKinnon art here. That's on silent clearing. If you all want to see me make Merit Lage, spoiler alert, watch the pre-release video for this set. <laughs> I go kind of crazy about it. Um, boom. Boom. Oh, etchings of the chosen and boom. Force of despair. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. The black force. So we have the red force and the black force. If it's not your turn, you may exile black card from your hand rather than pay this. Destroy all creatures that entered the battlefield this turn. So this one might wow. seem... Um, kind of like meh, but in practice, I've seen it be um, usually at least a two for one. Yeah. Which is pretty good. All right. Wow. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. Um, let's see. I think, you know, I obviously want to play my green cards because I love, love, love the Deep Force Armor. Maybe I'm green black. Yeah. Because I can, then I can play Hogak, Force of Despair. Um, who else? I can obviously play my Sword of Truth and Justice, yep. Plague Engineer. That seems right, unless I was going to be like red, white slivers. Yeah. You also have your White Wrath. And oh, your yeah, that's true. Ice. And on ice. Yeah. Maybe we're abs on. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, that's a pretty, that's a pretty cool uh, pool. I couldn't ask for anything better. Yeah. You know, honestly. All right. Ready? Except for a Sarah. You can't, you can't have the, all the, I'll put you can all the good ones. I'll put scroll nest over there because it's not really a rare. <laughs> all right. I'll lay these out just in case oh, people want to see them. This is our, our lovely uh, ranger captain of Eos. Oh, yes. Lion friend. A nice white mythic in the set. Snow covered plains. Okay, here we go. Did I have a token in that one? I don't think I did. What? Weird. Did I? Did you? I don't think What's so. What's this card? Do you have? A, does that mean you have a, a foil? Maybe this is a token. No. No. All right. Well, well there's only one way to solve this mystery. Yeah. Maybe it is just this card. Uh. All right. Ooh, Phantom Ninja. Ninja of the New Moon. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm Ninja. Maybe ninja I'm deck. Yeah. Geomancer's Gambit. There, you have a nice settle right away, right Universal off the. Universal Automaton. Twisted Reflection. Excellent yeah. removal spell. 
birthing boughs. Oh, oh there's your tree, tree folk. folk. Ooh, tectonic reformation. It's this our preview card. No, I do have a <gasps> foil rare. Wow. And nurturing peatland. Wow. Cool. Hey, this is ours. Yeah. Very cool. This is so good luck high red. fives. So I could have cycling. So nurturing peatland and foil, not too bad. No. <laughs> not too bad at all. Pretty, pretty spicy start there. I saw somebody draft uh, one of those uh, lands and foil at the Grand Prix in the tr top eight draft <laughs> instead of taking a card for their deck, which, you know, might have made the cut, might not have. I'm not, I can't remember where in the draft they were. I'm pretty sure they picked it over something that would have ended up making their deck. Yeah. Um, and I just remember being like, sometimes you got to take the foil goif, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Here we go. Here's a token. Okay. Bird elephant. Hogak. Oh, Hogak. Speaking of. Disgusting. Disgusting. We're going to almost have an entire collection of these art cards. Yeah. Ooh, Martyr Soul. I've never seen that card be a 4-5. I played the mono red um, like Phoenix. Phoenix burn deck has lava, lava dart dirt. in it. Cool. Mm -hmm. Answered prayers. Azra smoke shaper. Oh, Spidey's. Speeder. Rocks Veteran. I love Rocks Veteran. Elemental. Prohibit. Savage Swipe. Nice. Glacial Revelation. Dismantling Blow. Scale Get your Infect Deck ready. Kaya's Guile. Oh, nice. Oh, That's going to be sick. modern playable. Yeah. Um, so this is one that you can choose, choose two or you can entwine and do all four of them. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. All right. I'm so excited for the first big modern tournament, which will be um, Mythic Championship Barcelona in mm -hmm. July, because I want to see what new modern decks are going to be played. Other than Hogak, okay? <laughs> what is the, Oh, Wart Eye Witch. <laughs> Wart Eye Witch. Girl, look at all her for the frogs on I her know, head. I know. It's really cute. I she think has she's a great. frog hat. Oh, frog hat. Soul Strike Technique. Another lava dart. Megan's gonna be darting me. Chiller pillar. Gluttonous slug, gross. Another Tornado. card that I think is better than people think it is. Gluttonous slug. Oh, well, I'm not gonna look close around it. <laughs> uh, let's see what Another, here's a sliver. Knight of Old Benalia. Yes, Old Benalia this time. Coming through <laughs> to suspend. Ooh, here's a man of war. Mind rake. Ravenous giant. Talisman of Creativity. Okay. Oh. Talisman of Curiosity. Oh, you're so, so curious. many talismans. And Endling. Endling. Oh, yeah. This card's pretty good. Wow. It does it all, basically. Can get Menace. Can get Death Touch. Undying. And give it plus one, minus one, or minus one, plus one. Yeah. Very cool. That I remember somebody played that card against me at the pre-release, and I was just kind of like, oh, I see. I see. <laughs> there is nothing I can do about this at the moment. Yeah. Or maybe ever. <laughs> Unless I have a settled beyond reality or something. Bear. Bear! Ooh. Oh, there's the Max Tantalite. That looks great in this. Beautiful. Art by Ryan yeah. Pancoast. We're big fans of the Pancoast in this house. Wall of 1,000 cuts. I love that card name. I think it's great. Yeah. I kite with so the cutest cute. card. Another slug. Slug boy. Tornado. Spring bloom druid. Geomancer's gambit. A regular cohort. Mm -hmm. Venomous changeling. Orcish hellraiser. A the good unicorn. fortune unicorn. Vengeful devil. Oh. It's so mad. Cunning evasion. Very cool. And. Oh, Ayula's influence. Green, green, green. Discard a land card. Create a two-two green bear creature token. This you just get to make a bear. Yeah. You discard lands. Make, make bears. bears. Yeah. Oh, okay. A bear Interesting. deck is a legitimate deck in this format, especially if you open Ayula. So maybe we'll have bears. Bears v squirrels. Bears v squirrels. The battle for the ages. People have been wondering for years why who would the, win. Why isn't that a battle deck already? I why don't know. Why can't I play bears v squirrels? I don't know. Let's call Card Kingdom. Already. If we ask them to make it, they would make it for us. That's the kind of people they are over there. It's true. <laughs> ah, Honestly. the scour all possibilities. Pretty. Great. Yeah, I think like Mother Bear in this set is just very strong. You know, she's a 2-2 two, two for two. She makes her cubs. Um, Savage Swipe is so good. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, a little frosty. A little frost wallow. <laughs> I saw a video of a lizard the other day, like an iguana that they put on a stick and put up near a skylight in an office and there, cause there's bugs flying in and it, the caption said, mm, sky raisins. And then the lizard would eat the bugs flying, the flies flying in through the window. Anyway, that was really gross. And I just had to let you know. Ooh, it's an ice bank <gasps> coaddle. Yes. I love this yeah. card. Great. Very cool. What more do you want? Flash flying, probably death touch draws you a card. Gosh yeah. darn it. Yep. Two mana. Pretty, pretty hot. Hot, hot, hot. All I have to say, I, I'm not feeling like a theme yet for no, my deck. No, neither am I. I'm not feeling a set of colors that feel very powerful. No. But we'll see. There like, is time. Yeah. There's time for Sarah. Ooh, Ooh it's a run and six. six emblem. And a goblin matron. A mother only a child could love. <laughs> Great flavor text. Goat napped. Don't get goat oh, napped. I love it so much. Goat napped. More frost walla. Iceberg cancrix. There's a Lancer sliver. fun combo with iceberg cancrix in the set, by the way. And Ooh, pondering mage. Oh, uh, pondering love mage it. is so good. And tree folk umbra which gives plus O plus two, and then they assign damage based on their toughness instead of Ooh. their power, so it becomes a 6-6 six, six attacker. Because <laughs> it doesn't have Defender, everybody. <laughs> Nether Spirit. Okay, what's this One do? black black for a 2-2. Two, two. At the beginning of your upkeep, if it is the only creature card in your graveyard, you may return it to the battlefield. Wow. That's really underwhelming. I mean, good early. Yeah. Bad late. Yep. Does it even have flying? No. Oh. It's one of those weird spirits. That's gr trapped on the ground. Gr one of them ground one spirits. One of those ground spirits. Like a ground squirrel. Do you remember um, No Eye Ground Deer? I, of course I do. How could I ever forget? That's an early one from the early years of our podcast. Yeah. Megan was telling a lot of fun jokes. <laughs> and then... And then one, one, one broke her. Yep. Oh, more yeah. Morafon. Morafon. Gorgeous. So boundless. So boundless. Can you see that he has no bounds? Can you see that? <laughs> Another goat nap. I'll just, I'll Make just nap all your goats. goat napping deck. Changeling Outcast, great for enabling mm -hmm. your ninja strategies. Bellowing Elk. Bellowing Elk, usually unkillable. <laughs> um, oh, wow. Yeah. Igneous Elemental, better than you think. Prohibit Elvish Fury. I like the name. Putrid Goblin. Well, that's a good removal spell. Urza's Rage, Smiting Helix. And oh, there she Ayula. was! I knew she would show oh, up. Oh wow! So we could, we might end up bears. Bears be squirrels. <gasps> Whenever another bear enters the battlefield under your control, choose one. Put two plus one plus one counters on target bear. Target bear. Target bear you control fights target creature you don't control. Wow. Also, look, it's miscut. You see is that? It? Where on the corner? No, you see how it's oh, completely off. Oh, you're right. Off? It is. <gasps> it's like way. Whoa. Miss cut alert, everybody. Wow. All right, collectors, you know our number. <laughs> Which is uh, um, 612 fossils, fossils with a Z. With a Z. That is a real number you can that call. That is a real number that you can call, and we will get a voicemail. We'll, we'll hear you. Have you opened any mother bears yet? I don't think you have. No, I haven't. Ooh. Oh. Prismatic Vista. Pretty. Great. I keep saying pretty and you keep saying great, so it just sounds like we're saying pretty great. Pretty great. <laughs> pretty great. Chiller, Chiller pillar. pillar. I'll never not the lab. be excited Another about bellowing that. elk. Yeah, bellowing elk's very annoying. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Especially if you're playing green white tokens, which is a pretty strong strategy. Um, you're basically always going to have a creature in the battlefield every turn. Tusky. Tusker. Ooh, wing, wing shards. shards. That's not bad. Lava belly sliver. Scuttling it's sliver. It's just scuttling. And spiteful sliver. Look at three slivers in a row. Wow. Just guy slivers. Intense. That's pretty intense. Wow. Still have a lot of packs to go. I know. All right. So far, I'm mostly, I'm mostly feeling the bears. I uh, agree with you. You have two great bear cards. Two great bears. And you probably have plus opened. like one of the fight cards. And yeah, you have a savage swipe. Ooh, beautiful. Wow. Force of Despair, yeah. obviously. Seb, Seb McKinnon. McKinnon. <laughs> wow. I want to meet Seb after all of we've, we've talked about Seb on our show and yeah, everything. That's true. I wonder if, if he'll be somewhere soon. 
Spore frog. <laughs> it's a frog made of spores. Gross. Nature's champ. Oh, there you go. Another, another one. Savage swipe. Yeah. Amorphous An axe. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, there you Call go. For worm. Exclude. Oh, Saddled excellent card. Nice. Very good. And... Ooh, a oh, sunbaked okay. canyon. Nice. All right. I just want to point out the art on Shelter for a moment, because this is like one of the old cards that got reprinted. Yep, and they're like, why? And she's still an 80s lady wearing a huge oversized like turtleneck sweater and like leather panties. Yep. <laughs> which we, uh, which to Classic me outfit. just screams 80s. It really does. <laughs> Even her hair. It's very flash dance yeah. situation. Yeah. You remember all the times that you've worn my leather panties and my oversized turtleneck sweater. <laughs> yep, exactly. Every night. <laughs> so comfortable. So <laughs> Just like comfortable. Comfort is the oh, number one name. Is always fashion. Charm. He's so charming. I don't think I don't think that's what it well anyway. <laughs> okay. Beautiful Cumbra. Winter's rest, excellent. Mm -hmm. Universal automaton. And snow. Oh, there you go. Ooh, trumpeting herd. Do you want two three threes and one of them is free? Play Trumpeting oh, Herd. Oh, Grave Shifter. This is one of my favorite cards. Yeah. Especially as far as like names go. Oh, and it's what great. it is. So cool. Ice Tide Golem. Vesper Lark. Prism oh, Ooh, there you go. Prismatic Vista. Nice. That was off Nice, nice, one. nice. We have a foil. Rank Officer. And Snow Covered Island. Cool. Erp. Here we go. Uh, it's it's yeah. Gorge. And like. Very pretty. Enables you to play, play you some, know, whatever you want. Yeah. yeah, I've got I've got a little bit of fixing over here. Yeah, you do. You have uh, three rare lands, <laughs> which may be good or bad, however you look at it. Yeah, ephemerate. Wow. I love this art as well. Great, it's really so creative. cool. Very very cool. I saw somebody posted a picture from IKEA the other day of the, like the toys display and it was um two lions and one was hanging off the other edge and the other was pushing it over and then there was a tiny baby lion on the floor looking up at them <laughs> someone recreated the lion king everybody amazing thank i love it oh or nero phage um, yeah that card can get out of hand very a card oh put a plus one plus one counter on it sick yep watch her for tomorrow like it and hideaway El Eladom Eladomri's call. Poop noise. <laughs> Search your library for a creature card, reveal that card, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Instant. Um I suppose so it is. So I instant. played Modern Super League last week. Yeah. And um Autumn Autumn Burchett, who was on my team, played like a green a green white um, oh, a devoted druid combo devo devoted druid combo which now plays this oh it should yes yeah and autumn after after the first game they were like someone pointed out that this card was an instant because i was like this card is so good and i didn't even realize <laughs> like i thought it was so good I just, as a before sorcery? i knew it was an instant wow <laughs> yeah yeah like that deck needed another card to help it out gross exactly the number of times well, I can make sure that I get my Ayula. Yeah, that's you know. true. Have more ways to... Oh, oh, it's a sign. Skelemental. Lightning Skelemental. I love that name. It's a great name. Skelemental. Skelemental. Oh, whoops. Oh, spoiler oh, alert. Almost. It was okay. a mountain. <laughs> uh, sand Sprinter. Spell Snuff. You better start opening some heat here. I know. Otherwise, I'm going to be in trouble. But that's the thing, like this sets, you know, like my rares, I have two very good ones, but you know, the, the cards are so good that they make up for it. Ooh, <gasps> Morophon. I can choose bear. You can choose bear. <gasps> Bears. Yeah. With Morophon. Bears. Cool. Very cool. I think that's my first mythic, I right? I think it is, yeah. yeah. Mythic numero uno. For me over here. Yeah, I'm kind. I'm actually kind of sad I didn't open the first sliver because now that I think about it, that would have been just dumb that and very, very fun. Cool. But what can I complain? Bear. I've got Yagmoth and Mox Tantalite, even though like it's how good that can be. Endling. Oh, isn't it pretty? These this yeah. sunflowers over here. Oh, great. All right, Bogarden Dragonheart, Tasmal form. Ward Eye Witch. <laughs> There's a cousin, by the way. A lot of people don't know this of. 
the skin, witch. Of course it is. Of course it is. It's not the first time we've seen Zelda Fair and Decoy or Generous Gift. Astral, Astral Drift. Drift. Whenever you cycle this or another card while it's on the battlefield, you may exile target creature. If you do return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next Blink episode. Town. Interesting. Interesting. Not quite the heat. Not the heat that you were looking Not for. Not quite the heat that we need. I did see a cool deck that um, MTG Goldfish Saffron Olive brewed up with Astral Drift and Modern. Um, that was pretty fun. Combo deck. Ooh. Turn it around. You're right. <gasps> oh, Arkham's Astrolabe. Astrolabe. That old Arkham. I was playing around with his Astrolabes. <laughs> I was like, geez, Arkham, can you please just put it down and play some N64? And he was like, no, no, no. I love my Astrolabe. Yeah, which is just a giant spiral thing. Spiral Anyways. ball thing. I was reading a book that was telling me about astrolabes right when I learned of this card, Arkham. What are they? They're for telling time oh, by the sun. That's cool. And that's. Oh, here's an ooh. ingenious infiltrator. Carrion feeder. Mom, she's here. Mm-hmm. And. Ooh, ooh. Cabal therapist. I mean, you're opening some good cards for modern, but. Yes. Not necessarily. <laughs> not sealed. Not necessarily good cards for sealed. We only have four more packs. Uh oh, Megan, where's Sarah? Oh no. Where's she at? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah, no. <laughs> oh, Pashalik Mons. There, yeah. I nailed the name. There you go. Which is a called back to an older card, which a lot of these are, obviously. Spring Bloom Druid, excellent card for fixing your mana. Finding your snow permanent. Lesser Masticor. Everdream. Beautiful. Really great art from Everdream. Oh, Genesis. Oh. That's legit. Yeah. That is a very annoying card. Cool. And a foil. Foil scour. scour all possibilities. Yeah, Genesis, if yeah. it's in your graveyard, you just need to pay three and bring back stuff that died and it just comes back mm -hmm. to your hand. Wow. <clears throat> nice. Nice. So I can be like, I'm going to kill this thing, but Genesis is just going to bring it back, and my life is miserable. Table flip. <laughs> Whatever, squirrel. <laughs> Whatever, squirrel. Uh, ooh. Which one is this one? Watcher That's the for watcher. tomorrow. Great. All right. Value built in with hideaway. Ooh, Spidey. Unearth. Man of War. I'm just uh, waiting for it. Rake. Tribute Mage. Wall of Blossoms. Munitions Expert. Nice. And Be there. Bizarre Trade oh, Mage. That's not a bad card. Yeah. Draw two cards and discard three. Flying. Three, four for two and a uh, right. blue. Yeah. Solid. Solid. Solid Flyer. Good rate. All right. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Excavating Anurid. He just wants to excavate. Ah. With his mouth ah. full of teeth. I need to make eat my I rock have a lunch. Mouth full of teeth. Moonblade Shinobi. Reprobation. White's kind of. Oh, there Ooh, you go. Mother bear. Mother bear. Removal spell. That's turned out to be kind of underwhelming because of how much bounce or how much blink there is in the format. Yeah. Oh, Pondering Mage. You've got a couple of those now. By the way, anyone who thinks they know what we should build with our decks, you can put in the comments and be like, hey, I have an idea for what you should build. Ooh. Oh. Archmage's Charm. Counter target spell. Target player draws two cards or gain control of target non-limb permanent with converted man cost one or less. Okay. And, ooh, a foil Beautiful. saddled rhyme stag. I love saddled rhyme stag. Attack for a, with a 4-4 four -four on turn three. Yes, please. Oh, no, I piled all of our snow lands in one pile. We just oh. have to split them up. Oh, okay. I don't think I'm caring too much about snow. I'll care minorly about snow, I, is my guess. Yeah. But not majorly. We'll just divide them up even. Okay. That's fine. That was our bad. Or we can we can probably... I've just been stacking them, so we, we can, can count. count down. Yeah, we can count. Golem, Golem. token. Oh, Ooh, Night of the New Moon. Ninja of the I mean, New Moon. Ninja. Very cool. All right. All right, last chance for Sarah. Come on. 
call what you think it's going to be instead. Uh, if it's not Sarah, yeah. um, it's going to be Urza. Oh, all I'm right. Be I another like that. Good one. Um, mine is, it's just going to be, I'm trying to think of one. Just like a lame it's be another one. land. It's going to be a land. Okay. Oh, oh it's a little eye kite. <laughs> all of 1,000 cuts. Okay. I'm so nervous. Same. All right. Oh my gosh. Rebuild. Oh, I love right. this art. And <gasps> no. No. Wait, that's right. Here it is. <gasps> <laughs> yes. You were right. Called it. Called it. Called it. Wow. You opened four rare lands in your one. Yours? No. Yeah. Yeah. Two, prismatic. Three. Vista Four. and the foil. Wow. So nobody can say we didn't get our value out of this box. Yes. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. With this buddy over here, especially. You opened the mythic half of the box. I did. I have, <laughs> how many did I have? Three? Mox, Yogmoth, and Sword. Yeah. Were my three mythics here. I have one. And Megan's got Morophon, the I boundless have Morophon, for though. our mythics. Pretty great. All right. So like we said, in, in two weeks' time. Yeah, two weeks' time. Come back here, and we'll be battling with these decks. Um, hit subscribe if you want to know when we're releasing our videos. Like we said, next week's going to be Worst Rares to play with in your sealed mm -hmm. for M20, which is always a super fun video. Um, and, yeah, thanks once again to Card Kingdom for sponsoring our box openings. You can go to cardkingdom.com slash GLHF and get whatever you need. If you want to play Half Box Sealed with your friends with Modern Horizons for a special birthday party or just like a special event that you want to do, um, you can also play... Uh, like what what's it called winston draft with yeah. a box which is a really fun way to open it so if you just want to get the cards please just don't rip them with for no reason have fun have fun while have you're opening fun. them um but yeah you can say good luck have token in your order or you can ask for a good luck high five sticker with your order and they'll throw one in there because just, just the kind of people they are yeah. over at card kingdom anyway see you back here in two weeks good luck, high five.